I'm Liz Moser, a Mayo Clinic and National Board Certified Health and Wellness Coach. Coaching versus therapy. What are the similarities? What are the differences? How do you know if you need a therapist or a coach? Well, stay tuned and listen to today's vlog for all your answers on this topic. First off, it's been said both coaching and therapy are the art and science of facilitating behavior change. So both an art and a science. Furthermore, the field of wellness coaching has become increasingly sophisticated as it draws from a growing body of evidence-based psychology, including positive psychology, adult learning theory, motivational interviewing, what I was taught at the Mayo Clinic, and new findings in neuroscience. Coaching and therapy have similar goals, such as behavior change, enhanced decision-making, and better resource use. Yet, only psychologists are trained in the assessment, diagnosis, and treatment of mental health disorders. Let me repeat that. Both fields have similar goals, yet only psychologists are trained in assessing, diagnosing, and treating mental health issues. Coaches and psychologists use some of the same approaches, such as positive psychology, mindfulness, motivational interviewing, strengths-based focused, solution-oriented focus, professional conduct, and ethics. Although ethics are rigorous in both fields, in a psychology, crossing the ethical boundary is unlawful. In other words, protecting the client's confidentiality and, and keeping agreements are important in coaching, but legally required in therapy. An apparent difference between coaching and therapy is the training requirements. Psychologists require six to seven years versus several months for a coach. Also, client expectations differ. In therapy, clients expect to explore connections among emotions, beliefs, past experiences, behaviors, and bodily health. While in coaching, clients recognize they need assistance to accomplish goals involving health habits, wellness, exercise, weight, nutrition, stress management, or general health. In therapy, clients explore um, connections among emotions, beliefs, and past experiences, while in coaching, clients seek assistance in accomplishing health and wellness goals. Coaches evoke and inquire while therapists can intervene. It, it takes an experienced coach to recognize that something is amiss and that therapy, not coaching, is appropriate. Coaches use provocative questioning while therapists create safety for their clients. Put another way, um, therapists seek to comfort the afflicted. In coaching, however, the, the coach is often called upon to afflict the comfortable. Yes, I sometimes have to push my clients out of their comfort zones just a little bit. So people are complex and mental health issues must be treated with caution. Therefore, creating, maintaining, and communicating professional coaching boundaries are vital. And recognizing warning signs such as depression, anxiety attacks, alcohol or drug addictions, um, personality disorders, and paranoia, and then referring that patient to a trained psychologist is essential for any coach. Both coaching and therapy share a growing body of evidence-based psychology, have similar goals, yet only psychologists can diagnose and treat mental health issues. Therapy and coaching have identical approaches, such as positive psychology and mindfulness, including professional conduct and ethics. Although in psychology, crossing the ethical boundary is unlawful. In therapy, clients explore connections among emotions, beliefs, past experiences, behaviors, and bodily health. During coaching, clients recognize they need assistance to accomplish goals involving health habits or general health. Although there are many overlaps between therapy and coaching, I, I believe the main difference is that therapy is fundamentally about healing past wounds or traumas and current mental health diagnoses. While coaching is more future goal oriented, my clients seek a space to define their desired future self and then they are looking for the accountability and support to make their vision of a healthier, happier, more fulfilled person 
a reality. I'm Liz Moser, a Mayo Clinic and National Board Certified Health and Wellness Coach. And thank you for watching this video on the similarities and differences between therapy and coaching. If you have any questions about this vlog, health and wellness, or wellness coaching with me, please reach out via my website at lizmosercoaching.com. Bye for now, be well, and I will see you next week with another video.